It's a brutal back to school season across the country, spread all over social media. Police officers injured, students arrested at this high school in Florida. A 13 year old arrested for allegedly attacking a student with autism in California. There's no doubt that there's been more fighting and more oh. violence on, on, in schools. Ab absolutely. This is across the board. Our members everywhere are talking about the challenges. Wrong place, wrong time. Back in September, like Jacob Cantu was in a bathroom stall at one of Connecticut's largest high schools when someone tossed a trash can over, hitting him in the head. How do you feel about going to school? Honestly, it's still a bit worrying at times. The vandalism and violence so bad, the superintendent closed the school and ordered a day of remote learning. There was that much tension in the school? Yes. Yes, I don't, want, I don't want to sugarcoat that and say no. She says it's the fallout from students being face to face for the first time in some 18 months, with some reacting to the social isolation, stress and trauma caused by the pandemic, families' financial pressures, or even grieving loss of life and imitating adult bad behaviors, fights on airplanes, rowdy school board meetings about masks and mandates. Being away from the school building had that big an impact? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In Absolutely. In some cases, like a seventh grader is now a ninth grader. They haven't learned how to navigate, first of all, a, a setting that's triple the size of what they came from. Where's the school system now in terms of, of adjusting? We're in a better place than we were eight weeks ago. With COVID relief funds, she's hired some 200 support staff, counselors, social workers, mental health professionals, and reached out directly to some 70 families with students involved in the unrest. Okay, let's see how quickly we can get involved and get engaged in learning. Near Tampa at this middle school, where officials say fighting has long been an issue, they're focused on trying to teach these sixth graders the basics. You know, how to come into class. You know, what, what are the expectations in the hallway? When you're in the cafeteria, what are those expectations? I definitely learned that I have, have to um, use my manners at all times and respect other people. Lessons not quite learned in a lot of other places. Ron Allen, NBC News, New Britain, Connecticut. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.